it's Wednesday, and it's time for a bit more weirdness of the world. And 25th episode in, and, well, it's a topic that... I'm sure it's very split-sided on. I know there will be those of you out there who will agree with what I'm about to say about it, and those who won't. Political correctness, PC culture, it's one of the weirdest things going on in the world today. Basically, it's people telling others what to think, instead of letting them think for themselves. So, we have, say for instance, parents shoving this type of knowledge down their kids' throats. And because of all this stuff that's because of all this rubbish is going on, we have some people doubting what they are. And then we have a film director saying that men can't relate to women? What kind of rubbish is that? We are not living in the early 20th century anymore, folks. This is the 21st century. It's not a hundred years ago, or over that, over that actually. It's not over a hundred years ago. We're not in the suffragette movement anymore. You know, women activists defending women's rights for political equality. And now we've got this rubbish happening. And it's because this rubbish is happening that we find ourselves on the cusp of even film, as I said, film directors are doing it. Now, as you may be aware, Bond 25 would be Daniel Craig's last outing as Ian Fleming's Secret Service agent, James Bond. After that, something ridiculous is happening in the world of James Bond that I'm sure even Ian Fleming would be disgusted by if he was still alive. Ian, I know you won't be watching this, but if you were still alive and you did happen to catch sight of it, your character is being swapped over for a female. Yep, that's what I said, guys. We're going to have a female James Bond. Okay, now you see what's wrong with that straight away. James is a given name for a male, not both genders. So they'd have to change the name. Now... I'm going to give you now examples of when it is appropriate to change out a male lead for a female lead and when it isn't. Take Doctor Who, for example. The Doctor's ability to regenerate on the cusp of death. You're not knowing what you're going to get for a new incarnation. And it is possible for the Doctor to change from a man into a woman. In that sense, that's appropriate because of the regeneration side of things. Now, I know... A lot of you actually don't like the way the show's gone since Jodie Whittaker took over. I'm not here to criticise you on that. You're entitled to your own opinion. As long as it is that, an opinion and not a fact. But when it's not appropriate to swap out a male lead for a female lead, as in the actual title character, is James Bond. You can't do that, people. That's such bullshit. I have to say it during the day just to call it out on this. It's ridiculous. 
another thing that's ridiculous. Well, not so much if it's adults wanting to do it, but if it's children, being forced to think this way and doubt themselves. Yeah. Parents, if you're... Some of those parents forcing their kids to think this way, stop. Let them be kids, let them think for themselves. Don't tell them how to think. Or what to think, for that matter. It's a big no-no in my books. Now, South Park's parodies on PC culture, which happened all the way through season 19, I might add, when PC Principal came into the picture, and sort of carried on into the following two seasons after that, or three since season 22, but it that wasn't actually a poke at that, no. Season 19 was the biggest poke on this topic. And you could say that it's partly what inspired me to do a topic on it. South Park taking an over-the-top approach on this was seriously and I mean seriously funny. It just shows you how ridiculous it is. In this day and age, there is no men can't do what women do and women can't do what men do. We're all equal. And yes, we can all relate to each other. So this... PC culture has to end. Political correctness. <laughs> what a joke. Come on. Those of you who take it seriously, just don't. Don't. It, it won't get you anywhere, sorry. Not with me anyway, as you can tell by this video. Just don't. And should anyone who thinks like that approach me in the street at some point and try and force it on me, I'm just going to tell you where to go in not a very nice way. So yeah, there you go. You've been warned. Well, this is Wednesday Weirdness, and this sort of thing is what a lot of the world's into, specifically Americans. Yes. Idiots in politics. That sort of thing's been happening ever since politics was invented, so yeah. And that'll be a good topic for the next episode, because there are two countries now, or there are going to be two countries, with idiots, big idiots, in office. But that'll have to wait till next time. <laughs> anyway... If you agree with what I said in this episode, comment below. If you don't, I wasn't forcing you to watch it. There are other videos of mine that might be more to your taste. I recommend you go and watch one of those. Anyway. <laughs> so next time we talk about... Buffoons running office mainly Donald Trump and what Boris Johnson wants to do to our country. Until then, see ya.